Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here and I literally cannot wait for today's video. We're doing another bookish day in my life and I actually really love these. So today we're going to do a little Target run. I need some things from there and I wanted to do like a little self-care day and a little reading vlog and so I thought might as well take you guys along. We're going to go see what Target has in store for us and you know have a really great day together okay so i thought i had some celsius in my fridge but i don't so we're gonna actually go ahead and go get some coffee because i need some energy for today we need to go we need to have a great fabulous day together so what better thing to either get coffee or food you know i really don't know until i get in my car and i start headed out but let's go let's have a little bookish day together a little target hangout because i don't think we've been to target together i think i tried to last time but there wasn't anything business wise for me there but this time we're gonna have a chill day let's go <laughs> hello it is 1201 now so i can say that can i put a name real quick <laughs> it'll be jessica jessica and what can i get for you can i just do the number one meal number one with a large Diet Coke, no ice. Diet Coke, large, no ice. And that'll okay. be it. That's all for you? Do yes. you need sauce for your or mayonnaise, mayonnaise, ketchup, or sauce? Um, Maybe barbecue sauce, please. Barbecue, sure. Okay. It'll be 934. She'll catch you out mm -hmm. right up here, okay? Thank you. My pleasure. it once it burned my face but i've heard so many good things about it that i still want to try it but like the chokehold that this had on all of us like insane Thing. I've never actually been an eye mask girly, but the chokehold that these have on me, and I want to try these so bad. So I just got some like mini ones to see if like I'd really like it or notice a difference. So we'll see how those go. But there's also an Ulta. So I'm gonna go see what Ulta has. I need a lip scrub and I can't find one. So let's go. usually never do this in Target, but this, let's just dig in. I'll pay for it, don't worry. I will pay for it. <laughs>
this would be to like drink coffee out of while like reading a book like the aesthetic on point i love it for three bucks i'll take them all i'll take them all Ooh, or this one plant parent oh my goodness this is so cute <laughs> seen in your life because I feel like you kind of got the gist of what I got but I want to explain first I got a ton of face masks because I feel like I just need to do them a little bit more often especially because I'm starting to wear makeup a little bit more I think these are perfect and I don't know which one I like yet so I wanted to try like a regular face mask and then see if maybe I want more of a uh, mud <laughs> type face mask I don't know I hope you understand and then my lips for like the past year have just been crusty dusty and i finally got some like healing lip ointment lip gloss type stuff and i've just been using summer fridays lip gloss like crazy and it's helped but i need an exfoliator so we're gonna do that as well today and then i have never used eye masks and they're so cute but i want to know if like they actually work because if they do I would love to start like implementing them into my routine either in the morning like while i sip coffee or whatever so i wanted to try these eye brightening ones and pacifica had so many cute ones like if you haven't tried it um i just based off packaging i would recommend these <laughs> and then i had heard of olipop and i thought either we drink wine while we read or this and i haven't tried this and strawberry vanilla so we may dig into that oh i also like got deodorant because we i need deodorant i got two types of coffee coffee grounds because i'm out of espresso beans so these are whole beans i know this one is really good i just love and then this one a local coffee shop actually uses these grounds which i find kind of funny but they're really good i think i haven't tried this one it's caramel nutty and round that's like the undertones of the coffee so super excited to try that and then my favorite part this was like unexpected i didn't write this down for like things that i needed from target but i saw these pens and their pastel speckle gel ink pens i just thought they were so stinking cute i don't know if you'll be able to see that but i absolutely love those and i was like "Ooh, i need these but a lot of the things that i do now are more so digital like i use notion like no other especially for like videos content creation that sort of thing i don't really need a use for these so i wanted to find a reason to actually use these and I found this journal. It is so stinking cute. It has strawberries on it, but I just like love the layout. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it has like the date, a big block right here, and then lines to draw. And so the point of this was I started like a dotted journal for books and like doing like a little book journal thing and I couldn't get into it just because of the whole printer thing. Buying ink is extremely expensive and I feel like if I really went down that road, I would be buying ink and I really don't have the money for ink right now. I mean, I like do, but I'd rather prioritize something else. But anyways, <laughs> regardless of ink, I thought it would be so cute to use this as my book journal because it kind of already has the layout that I was using in the other one. So instead of like printing off like what the picture looks like, I think of I'm going to just like write the title, the author, and then like quotes that I really, really liked from the book. Or just like maybe some like things that kind of make me think about the book, like either the aesthetic of it or just like a visual representation of it, like drawing pots, coffee, whatever, like is kind of like in the book writing my review my writing down here so i just thought this was so cute and i haven't done january's like book journal and so i'm already kind of forgetting what books i've read and so i wanted to buy this to kind of get started on that and then i've been just wanting a 
pull over type jacket for like the longest time just like a casual one like a comfy one to layer this one's like literally massive and it's a small at least i think it's a small yeah it's huge and so i just thought this would be fun to wear and so it looks really really big and so it's like literally perfect but that's all i got and you would not guess how much all of that is i feel like in my mind this would have been like maybe 50 bucks anyways let's go do like a little self-care treatment and get to some reading shall so we i have three face masks i get face masks I get little, ah. <laughs> i'm literally okay i probably shouldn't have had that alani new because i'm literally like my mind is just everywhere right now but we have a plump collagen peach little face mask or we have a brightening peach face mask or a hydrating one i really don't know what my body or not my body but my face needs right now so i'm not sure which one i want to do sometimes the peach and like watermelon ones kind of feel too like artificial for me. I don't know why, so I'm kind of scared, but this one is also peach. But I think I'm gonna go with this one because it says it has hyaluronic acid and like all kinds of other th good things. So let's go with this one. But first I really want to try the e.l.f. foliator. Like I said, my lips have been crusty dusty. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm, I really like this. I like the application because a lot of times these come in like the little circular type of things and they're like really annoying, especially because I have nails on. It would get all over. I really, really like this actually. Definitely recommend. And I got the last one. So that makes me really happy actually. I feel like that when like you rub it, it really gets in your mouth. So if you don't like kind of like that artificial type taste, I probably wouldn't recommend it, but highly recommend. It's so, it's literally perfect. But I really wanted to talk about the book selection at Target. Like, I don't know if maybe it's just where I live. Their book selection, one, it's like always empty. I know Target is also going through like a little rebranding kind of inside so maybe that's why they're not stocked but also I feel like their books are so not like outdated but they're kind of old like still Colleen Hoover like rules the whole entire book selection there and I'm kind of over it like I kind of want them to get new books maybe like newer authors that like you don't really see at Barnes & Noble I feel like that would be such a move for Target especially like since they're trying to get into more so like book type things that people want to go to and like i don't know i feel like that would be the move for target but they're also a big brand so that probably won't happen you know how tiktok is like the thing and we make fun of people that watch instagram reels because they're like five years late i feel like that's target <laughs> but with books <laughs> so but also barnes and noble kind of doesn't have a huge variety either sometimes like i go in there i'm like oh you don't have this book yet like how do they not have icebreaker on the shelf like i i wanted it on the kindle so bad and that was like the first book when i got the kindle that i wanted to download and read because of the hype it's not there anymore and so just like things like that like it, they both just need to really catch up and step up this is going to be like the messiest face mask I think I've ever worn. But here we go. I should have put my hair back. Oh, this is so cooling. Oh my goodness. This is nice. Okay. <laughs> now that I look insanely silly, I'm going to go let this rest for like 20 minutes we're gonna come back and then we'll do the reading vlog
I'll be honest. One, love the face mask. Two, love these. But I feel like the face mask and these like kind of sting my face just a little. Don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing low key and i don't know how well these are gonna stay on my face like there's already a ton of like air bubbles and if i put them too close under my eyes they're t they're not like gel they're more like paper it kind of like hurts to look down or like if i squint or something so we'll see how these feel how long i'll actually keep them on let me read the direction oh I did it wrong. That's that explains everything. Oh my goodness, that feels ten times better. I got my handy dandy little Kindle here, and I have been reading By Thread by Lucy Score because I read Things We Never Got Over and absolutely loved it. Like I love the drama, the romance, everything. So I wanted to read another book by her. I just love how she writes. Like I feel like I'm an outsider looking in onto someone's drama <laughs> and I just, I love it. So I wanted to read that so far. I feel like this happened in Things We Never Got Over but it was kind of slow at the beginning but once you got into it you were in like there was no getting out of it and i loved it like i wanted more so i'm so glad she's coming out with the second part of things we never got over by a thread apparently there's something that is in it that i did not know of so i'm kind of nervous to keep reading and if it will be too much for me and i don't want to give like any spoilers because it was a shock to me and so you can either dm me on instagram if you really want to know or just like look it up on tiktok and you'll figure out what i'm talking about because i was just shocked they briefly just mentioned it so far i i don't like i said i don't know how much of it is actually going to be in the book so I'm kind of just waiting till then and then seeing if I really want to keep reading it. So that's what I am reading right now. By a Thread is about a girl that's extremely poor and she's renovating her parents' old house-ish. And she's hoping that after the renovations are done, she'll be able to sell it and get more money. But now she's working like four jobs. She works at a pizza shop and this guy, Dominic, and his mom come in to eat and he is extremely rude to her for like literally no reason and so she's not dealing with that at that moment and so she fires back at him they go back and forth and basically she ends up getting fired from that job and she just walks out and the mom of that guy that was mouthing off meets her at the bus stop and was like hey here's my card if you want a job it has benefits and all of that come in monday and I'll give it to you. And so she's like, I'm not gonna miss that opportunity. And it just happens to be like a big, big like magazine, fashion magazine corporation called The Label. And so right now I'm just kind of getting into the mix where she shows up for her first day and everyone wants to know the drama. And she's kind of getting the drama on the label side and like what's going on and stuff. And so they, Dominic and her kind of just want to avoid each other at the like most part and they kind of just like are still having that banter of being mean to each other back and forth but it's like kind of funny so that's where i'm at right now so i'm gonna go ahead kind of read a little bit more so the point of like the this part of the reading vlog is not to finish the book so i will not be finishing a 500 page book right now so we're just chilling we're vibing let me know what you're reading and what books you have been liking lately and if you've read by a thread and let me know what your thoughts on it were if i should keep reading or not i've heard nothing but good things but yeah let me know Like an angel set me free Where are you now? Do you feel safe? 
so I I have been literally laughing out loud at this book. It is so funny. I feel like with Lucy's score books, at least like Things We Never Got Over and By a Thread, so far you have to get to like a hundred pages. I think I'm at like 98 right now and it's like it's starting to get good and it is just so funny. I love their banter together and it's like it's like low-key cute and I just I don't know, it's it's giving me like, I don't know, like getting this already and we're like just getting started. So I cannot wait to see what unfolds between the two and how they interact. And I just like love seeing them together. It's just so funny. Like I, I cannot get over it and I'm literally only a hundred pages in. I swear like, please, please start reading it. And I mean, like I said, I don't know if I'll finish it, but at the moment you have to get to at least a hundred pages and then you'll just like fall in love so fast and oh i'm just so excited i don't know like i just i love it and i've been loving my kindle so highly 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 recommend i've been just reading so fast and there's so many good books a lot of them are a little bit on the adult side i feel like but there's some really good fantasy books there's some really good just like general books on there that are for free and i just i cannot recommend this thing more and so you'll probably see me reading on this for like ever <laughs> low key but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i love bringing you guys along we had an amazing day like i feel so relaxed my heart is low key pounding like crazy because of this, but it's so good if you haven't tried. Amazing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I love you guys so much, so, so much. Oh, also, I totally forgot before we go. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. That is literally insane to me. When I tell you I have like tried to do the whole YouTube thing for like, the Oh, oh, a few times. Okay, not gonna lie. And this is just like a dream. So thank you for being here. I love you literally so much. So, so much. I'm so glad you're here. So yeah, I love you guys. Bye.